Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at function. So, what is a function and when the functions are used? Do you remember the one of the important properties of HDL and why HDLs are very famous? In one of my lesson, I have explained that one. That properties is reusability. That is one of the most important properties of Verilog HDL reusability. And what is that reusability? Let's say you want to do addition, addition operation, hundred number of times. And what you have to do? Two bit addition y equal to a plus b. Okay. So hundred number of times you want to do this operation. So how many times you have to write the statement for that one? Definitely for hundred number of times. So instead of writing the same code hundred number of times, it is better to use better or better to write this statement inside a block. Let's say this block name is or this subroutine. We can say subroutine. The subroutine name is add, and we have written this statement y equal to a plus b. Only once I have written here, but I can use this subroutine add hundred number of times. Means instead of writing hundred lines of code, instead of writing hundred lines of code, now the hundred number of addition can be done using the single line, using the single line with the help of the subroutine. So this is a function call. Okay. So this function, with the help of function, what we are achieving? Reusability of code. So it is possible. Reusability of code is possible in Verilog because of function and task. These are predefined. Okay, means it is already there. It has been declared and defined inside the Verilog library, and it is a very very helpful construct for test bench simulation. That means for functionality check of your logic design, the function and task are very very helpful. So, and one of the one of one of very important thing about the function and task is because as we are achieving reusability of code with the help of function so it reduces de development cycles also it is reducing the development cycle because if we are not using the function or the subroutine or the function call then what we have to do we have to write 100 number of lines and 100 number of lines means definitely time consuming it is time consuming then again it is also consuming my area so and definitely it will consume my development cycle so this function call reduces the development cycle or your design cycle and if we use reusable reusable code then the code makes the code looks very clean and it is easy to read means more readable and During this verification, what we concern about is the maintainability of code. Means if you have many number of codes, then we have to maintain those codes. Okay. So if you have less number of lines or less number of codes, less number of lines of codes inside your design, then the maintainability will be very very less. Okay. So what is the use of function? It is used when some of the operation is being used again and again. So instead of re rewriting the code again, we can call the function. Okay. This makes the code more cleaner and easy to read and also reduce the development cycle. So what are the features of function? Function can have any number of inputs. Okay. It can have any number of inputs, but it contains only one output. But inside the but if it is for task for task you can have any number of inputs and you can have any number of outputs but for function any number of inputs you can have but only one output the order of inputs or outputs matters when function is called this is one of the important thing okay this one i will explain then this function doesn't contain any time delay task contains time delay like hash then triggering signal like a positive edge of clock the negative edge of clock then at the rate wait all these things you will find all these things inside the task but not inside function it doesn't contain any time delay so what does that what does this mean actually it doesn't contain any time delay so if you are calling a function and if the function 
if the function call is converted into a respective hardware then it is a pure combinational circuit because in combinational circuit there is no positive edge of clock there is no negative edge of clock then there is no delay we do, we do not have any kind of delay so this is a pure combinational circuit so functions are or we can say that function function call it can represent a pure combinational circuit okay then inside the function or from the function we can call a function but not a task so we can call another function from a function but not a task we cannot call a task from a function but if you remember that inside the from the task you can call a task or you can call a function that is possible is okay then the variables that is declared inside a very inside a functions are called local local variables and that is because it is local to the function and outside of function those variables are called global variables okay because it is external to the function and non blocking assignments are not allowed inside the function task includes both blocking and non blocking assignment task but inside the function we only use blocking blocking assignment and not non blocking as we use only blocking assignment not non blocking assignments and as there is there is no time delay or timing control parameter inside function so all the statements or a function it always executed at 0 nanosecond and always returns a single value this is very very important that a function executes at 0 nanosecond because there is no time delay okay there is not it doesn't include any time delay so it is executed at 0 nanosecond and it always return a single value okay but your task doesn't return a value that you have to remember task doesn't return a value but your but a function call returns a single value always okay but this is the syntax function then automatic then return type then function name then port list then end function inside function and end function you can have input you can have output raise variable any kind of variable then statement then function call because we can call we can call a function from another function function doesn't contain any always or initial means inside the function you cannot have always and you cannot have initial okay but from always and initial block you can call a function means always and initial you can have function okay you can have function but inside a function we should not have always we should not have initial block okay uh, this is one of the example module module name input abc output y this is a function function name this is fun name of the function is test function okay then uh, the variables the inputs are here a and b then begin test function a plus b so if you remember this line then it always return a single value okay it always return a single value and it executed at 0 nanosecond so this example this this function is executed at 0 nanosecond and it is always it always returns a value and what it is returning it is returning a plus b here it is returning a plus b and the returning the returning value is stored in the function name name of the function so return value from function equal to test function okay so whatever value is returned that is the addition of a and b is returned to this test function the function name name of the function okay then end then end function it always returns a single value and it is returned to the name of the function okay it is not like a y equal to a plus b okay if it is y plus y equal to a plus b if you write y equal to a plus b inside this function then this y has to be the name of the function okay the name of the function y has to be okay then here also see we are calling a function assign y equal to test function a b then c 0 this is we are calling a function the name of the function is the name of the function is test function see all these variables means this input a and b the a and b variables are local variables why because it it is declared inside this function it is declared inside the function so this is called local variables this a and b are called local variables and this a b and c these are and y these are called global variables for the function because this is outside of the function the a b c and y are called global variables and this is called local variables and this assign y because this y is this one okay this assign y equal to we are calling a function and it because all the every time a function returns a value so when it returns a value this test function a b this a b this a and b are called arguments this a and b are called argu 
arguments okay and this a is not a this not this a and this b is not this b this a b r this a b okay that you have to remember this a b r this a this a and this because this is global variables inside this these are global variable test function a b a is this a and this b is this b and if you remember this one this the order of inputs or outputs matters when function is called the order of inputs and output matters so that means this a this a is reference to this a means this is the input see inside the function we have input only one two inputs one is a and one is b so whenever we are calling the same function test function so this a will be this a this a will be reference to this a this a and this b will be reference to b you can give another name also it is not like the same name you can give x y z or it is p so this one will be then x and this one will be y so this x will be reference to this a this a and this y then will be reference to this b okay so the way the variables are written inside the function matters when you are calling the function okay because this a means the first one this 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 one means the first one okay and the second one means the second one if third if another one is there means the third variable that you have declared inside the function so it matters okay so this is one of the example so if it returns a value means if it is true then c is assigned to y and if it is false then 0 is assigned to y it always returns a value okay then another example is a function test function so the function name is test function this is the name of the function then integer variable a b c d then a equal to b plus c d equal to b plus a test function equal to d so it is returning a value function function always returns a value so what it is returning here and wh and where it is returned to it is returned to the name of the function okay it is returned to the name of the function so this is test what is returning it is returning the value of d and what is the value of d value of d is equal to b plus a so addition of b and a it is returned to the test function okay so return value from function equal to my function and see and if you remember this statements this non blocking assignments inside function is not allowed means always in, inside the function if you are doing any kind of assignment then you have to use the blocking assignment okay so here see here we are using the blocking assignment this is blocking assignment this is blocking assignment so always use the blocking assignment inside the function so it is returning a value test function and end function then raise out where w assign w equal to test function this is a function call we are calling this function okay we are calling this function test function and what are the arguments we have four arguments a b c d here we have integer a b c d so the first one will go to this one this test function this is this is a this is b this is c this is d so this is four very vari four variables four arguments we we have passed four al four arguments so whatever whatever will be returned by this function this test function that will be assigned to w and what it is returning it is returning d it is the returning d value of d and what is value of d value of d is uh, b plus a value of d is b plus a so b plus a equal to d so it will be assigned to this w okay this will be assigned to this w okay so whenever there will be changes in b plus a or d it will be assigned to this w so it so we are doing here because this is assigned so it is a continuous assignment and it is returning to w then always at the rate positive edge of clock begin out equal to test function so inside a always block we are calling a function and what is the function name the function name is this one only test function we are calling this function okay we are calling this function so and what is the argument a b c d four variables are there four arguments are there so it is returning a value and that value is assigned to this out okay and what it is returning it is returning the same value d and what is d d equal to b plus a okay so so the addition of b and b mean the summing of b and a is assigned to d and that returning value d that value is assigned to that value is assigned to y sorry out out okay so in here we have we non blocking assignment why because it is outside of the function inside of the function it is always blocking assignment outside outside of the function and it is always at the red passage of clock so it is a sequential design this part is a sequential block this part is a sequential block but this is a pure combinational block this is addition this is this is simply addition this is adder this is a adder this is a adder so this is pure combinational block because it doesn't include any delay all these things okay delay parameter or timing control parameter so it is a pure combinational block and this is because always a clock is there here so it is a it is a sequential block that you have to remember so this function function 
फंक्शन कॉल एनी फंक्शन कॉल इज ए प्योर कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट इट इज ए प्योर कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट एनी फंक्शन इज ए प्योर कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट एंड दिस इफ ऑलवेज इज देयर देन डेफिनेटली इट इज ए सिक्वेंसियल इट इज ए सिक्वेंसियल सर्किट ओके सिक्वेंसियल ब्लॉक वी कैन से सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट फंक्शन एंड आई होप दैट यू गैज लर्न समथिंग न्यू टूडे एंड If you like the content then please do like subscribe this channel and thank you so much for watching